What's up guys and welcome back once again. This is West of Loathing. I'm Dark J Gaming and guys Let's get into it. This is another episode Hope you enjoy Slap that like button if you do And um, this is another episode of Myrtle Masterson. Let's get on going with this, uh, this episode um, I'm loving this game if you guys are too Let me know in the comment section below Continue off where we left off last time. Last time we left off, we uh, came into um, dirt water, and uh, um, so things look a little uh, different in this town. Things look a little more, more bustly and hustly. Uh, room for rent. Um, inquire within. Okay. Let's talk to you. Hey there, Susie. I'd like to check up on some of the ranches in these parts. See how bad the cows are attacking. Cow attacks again. All right. Do you know some? Not in all great detail, but I know roughly where a few are, or at least well. Where I guess we'll just happen to see. Happen to see. <laughs> There's one not too far from here. Uh, you discovered a new map location, uh, the Stearns Ranch. Right. Well, what do you think we should do next, or am I forgetting about anything? Uh, what do you think we should do next? Hmm, if you're looking to get a move on westward, I reckon a train's the way to go. Didn't that map the hostler gave you have a marker for some railroad camp or another? Might be worth checking out. Good idea. Okay, so remember though, back in our last town, there are still some things that we can do. Um, there was that hidden area that we could blow up with the dynamite, um, and I think we needed needles to do that. Okay, um, let's go in there and see what's going on here. This is a different saloon. What in tarnations? Is that just a big beard? I think it's a big beard. Old man that stares off into the distance, listening to the piano. Try to talk to him. He doesn't react to you at all. Okay. Um, not a... What? Not very good at his job. <laughs> Slopping meat. What? I don't understand. Okay. You get a plate of slop. Ew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, how come they're allowed to drink without hats on? That's a good question. Stage and kitchen. Oh, that guy's got a gun. These guys are having a spirited discussion about guns and which of theirs is nicer. Okay. Poker room. Ooh, okay. The gal doesn't look like she's in the mood to talk. Okay, so another one of those at the bar, huh? They engrossed in conversation, leave them be. Okay, what's the uh, bartender gonna say? Um, well, howdy there. All nice to see new. <laughs> Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. My name's Myrtle. Glad to know you, Myrtle. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Uh, nice to meet you, Lloyd. Okay, so I got a few questions here. I saw the sign up front advertising a room. Need any help with anything? Um, I'll have a shot of bourbon. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Who's that old man up by the piano? Or see you later. I'm gonna try the shot of bourbon right away. I get dirt water bourbon. Hmm. Okay. So I saw a sign up front advertising a room. Um, I should probably ask about the room. Um, how much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous test was a banker fella, and he paid a month in advance, right before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem to be a decent sort, so the room's yours if you want it. Greatest. Okay. Alright, these guys must have fallen asleep during the brawl. What? How are they still- They're still punching each other while they're sleeping. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Okay, so you know what? Before I go to my my bedroom, we're gonna check the poker um, area. Rules. Poster says rules of poker, followed by hundreds of weird rules in tiny print. Read one of them. 
Threes are wild, unless accompanied by an eight of spades. A player with more than 27 cards in their hand immediately wins the game. What? Queens are wild unless accompanied by a suicide, four suicide kings. Homicide jacks are wild unless accompanied by two one-handed kings. Queens are wild unless accompanied by a, a mustachoid jack. Another player holding a pair of nines must immediately double their bets. A seven beats a jack of clubs. Three queens of hearts are equivalent uh, to a tray, but they are twice as valuable as a pair of suicide jack of hearts. Suicide Jacks are wild unless accompanied by two queens of diamonds. A player caught cheating must draw a new hand of cards. Two kings lose against two sixes of spades, but lose against two nines of diamonds. A pair of three. This is probably going to go on for like ever, I imagine. Okay, that's that's funny. Okay, this table's full up. All right, let's just play poker. <laughs> He's down on the poker table. Dealing a, a dealer emerges from somewhere in the back and sits down next to you. A lady to your right introduces herself as Mary, and the player to your left says his name is Dan. The dealer tells you that your auntie is that your auntie is twenty meat. Okay. Dealer gives you a, a deck, the deck a shuffle, then deals. Uh, hand of cards glides across to you to table. Um, it's really terrible hand for homicide queens, diamonds, seven of clubs. It's the first round. The pot is sixty meat, and your estimate. You estimate your chances of winning around 20%. Okay, I'm going to check. Mary grins and checks. Dan checks. Continue. Second round. Okay. Um, you estimate your chances of winning at about 25%. Okay, let's bring this up again. Then checks, then checks. Okay, so you're up to 30%. Let's bring it up even more. All right. Oh, I lost 20 meat. Oh, dang, I lost. Okay, let's try it again. Ante up. 20%. Okay, glamorously raise. Still at 20%. Gumptiously strategize. Plus 20% chance to win. So I'm up to 40%. Okay, so let's check again. Alright, let's call. We're gonna get my cards. I won! Woohoo! 180 meat. Alright, let's just walk away. <laughs> it's interesting. The rules of, are not even. It's not like a legit poker, so it's. Wow. All right, so let's go to the kitchens. Check that out. This lady's too busy washing dishes to pay attention to you. Okay. Our uh, shelf is full of canned and bottled ingredients and boxes of slop helper. All right. It's, <laughs> instead of hamburger helper, it's slop helper. <laughs> hey, what are you doing in here? Boys only, bub. Oh, sorry. I was just, you know, looking around. So you're a nosy tabby. Well, I prefer adventuresome. As it happens, there's something you can do for me. I'm out of salt, Peter. You need someone to go pick me up some more. Salt, Peter? And other things. Look, who's the chef here? Me or you? Oh, okay. Well, where can I find it? You're the bets of military camp. Your best bets of military camp. Because it's used to make gunpowder? Shut up. The nearest one is in Fort Cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. The chef marks a new map. Uh, uh, location of your map. You discovered a new location, Fort Cowardice. I don't even know why it's called Fort Cowardice. But okay. Right, let's go to the stage. It's a cowbell. Oh, I gained XP for fixing the chair. Hank cannot go behind stage. I'm imagining something's gonna be here eventually. What's up with this? See bartender for darts. Wow, I'm just. This is how I walk. This is it, it now. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, can I get some darts? Oh, sorry, all the darts broke months ago. That's disappointing. That's very disappointing. Alright. Okay, so let's so let's come up here. Oh, there's Susie. It's your partner. <laughs> so that's Susie's bed. 
Look at yourself in the mirror. Insult yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> insult yourself again. You better not insult yourself anymore. <laughs> you get any angrier, you're liable to pass out. Okay, there's a postcard on the table. Let's take it. I got a blank postcard. Um, what's out here? Okay, so this is, this leads outside. Okay, so I can get, like, probably directly to my bedroom from there. This horse smells weird. Okay, so we got the uh, merchantile. Let's check the merchantile out, guys. Oh, man, you look... I love your hat. It's fabulous. It's fabuloso. Okay, so we got advanced bean craft. How much money? I have 1,075. <gasps> Dynamite! I can get four of them. All right, so we're going to buy... Okay, that's what I needed. Okay, so I think I'm about to disposable binoculars. I uh, use to discover a new map location if you can find a high vantage point. Oh, that's cool. Um, I'm gonna buy. Th I'm gonna buy that, and I'm gonna buy the advanced bean craft book as well. Um, and then let's get out of here. I don't want to spend any more. Not right now. I have no level ups yet. Let me see. Okay, so let me read this. Read this to learn the new bean singing skill. Whew. Okay, so there's a few different skills you get to choose from. Uh, list of meditation techniques to help you concentrate while cooking or fighting. Give use old bean a skill that temporarily increases your uh, mysticality during fighting. Mysticality. Okay, there's a recipe for a wall-shaped pile of beans that looks pretty interesting. It gives bean wall. A spellcaster will create a wall of beans that provide cover from ranged attacks. That's kind of cool. The chapter about cooking bean dishes so small that they have to be served intravenously. Give blood beans a skill that lets you regenerate health during combat. Oh, that's cool too. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, I'm gonna say learn blood beans. I think that's cool. I get to regenerate health. Post of ice. Uh, it's the post office. Um, one of those things, telegraph things. Okay. If this guy tries to give, tries to give me ice, <laughs> that'd be just too funny. Um, hi, I'm Myrtle Matinson. Any mail for me? Mm, nope. Darn. Well, I'd like to send a postcard. All right, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus, letting him know what you've been up to, and that you're okay. Well, that'll be, uh, it's one of them prepaid ones. That'll be zero meat then. Thanks. Okay, so I did that. I did that thing. Okay. Ooh. She's so selling flowers. Why do I feel like I'm gonna need these? Fine. Give me the flowers. Okay, let's go to this jail here. Um, here's the sheriff. See, instead of sherp, sherp. <laughs> howdy, howdy, are you the sheriff here? No, we don't currently have a sheriff. Sure, let me be a sheriff. Um, do we have any law enforcement experience? Not really. Have you been to sheriff school? No. Do you have an existing relationship with Dirtwater's local government? Are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Do you even live here? Uh, no. And what my ass can tarnation makes you think you'd be qualified to be sheriff? I just assumed. You just assumed that you could mosey in town and become sheriff on your first day? Well, we put it that way. If I have five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist looking kid who wanders in here thinking they're the most important tenderfoot to sniff a strap on an iron, I wouldn't need this dead-end clerking job. Sorry. It's okay. Like I said, it happens all the time. <laughs> Offer to help. Uh, sure, if you're any good with a gun, there's always somebody in need of some justice. Wanted posters are back there, sales are in yonder. 
She points behind her and off to the right, respectively. Okay, let's take your leave. Okay, so... Ooh. Wanted poster. Uh, the house in the desert gang uh, for mortgage, non-payment, squatting, and general public nuisances. Also for murdering two collection agents. Last seen at the house in the desert. 500 meat reward. Uh, you wonder if the house is named after them or if they're named after the house. In any case, at least the location is unambiguous. Want to go after them? Yes. New location, house in the desert. Got it. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, look how I'm walking. It's just, that's ridiculous. So is all ghostly. It's, that's a cell for a ghost? I assume? Okay. Dude, just following this lady with that. <laughs> lot available, lot available, lot available, lot available. A lot available. Not a lot available past this point. <laughs> okay. That's 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 great. Oh my gosh, why am I walking like that? I'm walking so crazy. Alright, so you know what? Um I would like to go go back. Oh wow. What is up with this map? Oh my god, oh my gosh. Stern's Ranch, Fort Cowardice. This map is so weird. So, okay, so this is dirt water. Um, am I able to go back? Wait, you know what? I think I can, probably if I get on my horse. Because I want to actually check up. Um, saddle up. I want to check out. Oh, wow. Am I stuck here? Hold on. I wonder if I can go back by just walking back. I gotta see. You saw nothing past this sign. Okay, so I guess I can't go back. Where was I going again? Ugh. Oh. So I can't go back to the previous town? Is it? I gotta be able to go back to the previous town, right? I mean, I feel like I should be able to, but apparently I can't. Okay. Alright, well, I guess I'm just stuck on this map. Okay. Well, the Stern's Ranch. Um, there's the Dirt House, there's Fort Calidus, and then there's the Railroad. Um, let's try the desert house first. Apparently, I can't do that. In other places, I don't know what I would have missed in the first place. I must have missed a, something. Something, because I needed the dynamite. Now I have the dynamite, and I can't go back, unfortunately. Oh! A ghostly translucent bandit on a ghostly translucent horse rides up and points his ghostly translucent rifle at you, demanding all your ghostly translucent valuables. I mean, he doesn't actually specify that your valuables should be ghostly and translucent, but it doesn't seem like he'd have any use for regular ones. I'm just gonna bite him. <laughs> Susie's by my side, okay. Let's, uh, let's cast this bean protection spell. Let's cast this flame. Flame beam. All right. Um, Susie's got ooh a crack shot. Ooh. Uh, ow! You just punched me in the gut. Ooh, and I got the I got the regen. That's awesome. All right, let's shoot him. And we win the day. Victory. All right, so we got a uh, ghost cowboy hat, a bit of ectoplasm, I think we're defeating a ghost. As you dismount, you approach the house where the bandits are holed up. Uh, you hear a voice from inside. What was that? Uh oh. Uh, looks like you're going to have to be sneaky if you want to avoid full-on uh, fracas. All right, sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? <laughs> Yes, Sneaky's my middle name. 
Okay, if you say so. Thanks. <laughs> I love the little puns in this game. This is hilarious. I really, truly do love this. Oh, look at this. I'm just sneaky. I'm sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Wait, from the sound of it, you'd say the doghouse contains an angry dog. Very funny. <laughs> You're not going to be able to get past it without alerting the gang inside the house. Whatever. Bring him on. <laughs> Apparently, I can't sneak. Okay, so we're going to cast this again. Okay. I'm going to cast that. Okay, and then she's going to shoot him. Ouch! You're going to take us alive! Ow! Ow, guys. Just ow. That's all I want to say is just ow. Alright, I'm gonna shoot. That guy's done. Got two guys left. Ooh. Ooh. Why are y'all aiming for me? Y'all can aim for Susie over there. Now why is it gotta just be me? How much damage? Eight to nine damage. Yes. All right, so that one's done. Let's shoot this guy with Susie. Ow, dude. But I did get three health back. Let's go attack with a melee. Minus nine, and a shoot, and he's done. Victory. I have won the day. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Justice has been served in the old house gang. You got an item. A bag of ears and such. What? Why a bag of ears? What is wrong with these people? You got an item Desert Gang to six gun. You got an item of Black Hat. Hooray! I love it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm scared no one here. Okay. So I think that's it for this area. Um, Alright, guys. Unfortunately, that's it for this episode. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. And as always, stay awesome. I hope you guys like this. Be sure to tune in next week for the next episode. I'm going to continue the series till it's over. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. And um, that's it, guys. Bye-bye. Oh.